Um, Michael, the, the feeling within the group, is there still a level of confidence there, despite obviously the injuries have dragged you down there? Yeah, definitely. There's, there was a lot of positives in the game as well with the first 30-35 um, minutes. I think we dominated, uh, we were in control of the ball, and even when we weren't, we were, we were pressing them, we won the ball up high and um, caused some problems. And, and then of course we had a period there where we lost control and then once you're chasing the game it's always going to be difficult. Does that first 35 minutes though, whilst it indicates on the talent that you've got, it, does it just, did it just show the lack of experience that's out there that you let it slip after that? Maybe it could be a lack of experience but I think uh, again the positive is that um, I think in previous games we didn't start games well at all. In fact I think we conceded in, in most of the games early on and I think uh, to go out and show from the start that we dominated, um, that was really good. So how did uh, your coach react after this loss? There's three in a row now. Yeah. And obviously we've heard all the stories about him being, him being very, very strict and working hard on the teams after they lost games. Is he doing that now? I think a lot, I mean, we had the, the meeting after the game and he, I guess he wasn't happy with the, some of the things that we did, especially in the second half. I think um, we lost our structure a little bit too easy and, and as I said, um, we probably chased the game a bit and um, I think it's important, he wanted to stress that even when we're chasing the game that we still need to st stick to our basics of the structure and the way he wants us to play and I think we, we probably strayed from that and uh, that's probably one of the reasons he was unhappy. But he kept you on the pitch um, Saturday night, I think, as a collective. Yeah. And then is that like, what's, a, what's that, a form of what? Because it's unusual to see that. On the pitch after? Yeah. yeah. Oh, that was always scheduled that we we're going to have a recovery. We've got, this, we've got the short turnaround, we play Thursday. Um, even normally uh, after a game the next day, we do like a 20 minute jog together and stretching and frame roll. And that's what we did yeah, after the game. So that was just your recovery? Recovery, yeah. On the pitch, so something out of the ordinary. The Sunday off and then Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, yeah. So what is it now? Is it recovery all the way to the Mariners or do you work on your structures again? I think uh, today was probably the lighter day and um, I'm sure tomorrow we've got the video soon to have a little review of the game. I'm sure he'll point out some things that we, we'll need to work on. I think a lot of the players are already aware of the things we need to improve on anyway. Uh, no, just saying that um, after, for 35 you dominated but you can see the, the swing yeah. and then they knocked on the door I think, twice when, when Paul made a couple of saves yeah. um, and then eventually they got the goal. Is there, I don't know if the team, is there no way you could have repelled? Just because it, I think a lot of people saw it was going to happen and then eventually it happened and maybe at the wrong time as well. I said either side of half time I thought we were pretty poor and uh, we let him in too easy, and they're probably simple mistakes. Uh, I guess from a set piece again, and and then the second one a mistake. So um, yeah, it's not ideal when the, the team's trying to build confidence, but um, it is what it is. We, we look forward to Thursday now. Um, Marco's uh, indicated he was um, concerned. He admitted, I think, probably for the first time, he's concerned by the injury list and the problems that you're having because of that injury list. Um, as, a more, or as a senior player, are you feeling it out on the pitch, the fact that yeah, you do have so many young players around you that you're trying to go on? So we can't change the injury we, we've had. We've had some um, pretty big long-term injuries and um, they're experienced players. But that's why you build a, a, an A-League squad. You have 23 players and I think even the players that we've brought in um, that have had their opportunity this year have done really well. We've, same players like Ben Wallen and Jordan Nelsie, um, who are young players playing centre back and uh, are leading very well. So I think it just gives an opportunity for someone else, and I'm sure once these other players start to come back in, uh, um, it'll add a lot more to the team as well, and they're not too far off, some of these players. Uh, how far off? Because so I, I guess that's the next question for everybody. When's the first one coming back? So. A lot of the boys, that, uh, experienced boys you're talking about, are already running and doing a lot of stuff, so pretty soon I hope. You are an experienced member of that back four. What do you say to someone like Ben Warland, that back pass in the second half, to sort of ensure that he doesn't damage his confidence as a young centre half? Uh, he's a he's a strong character. I don't think uh, I don't think anyone has to say anything to him. He, he knows and he'll move on. Yeah, he, he's a strong lad. He, he'll get over it pretty quick. What was he like after the game? Was he apologetic? Or? Nah, he, he's fairly quiet, but. Um, 
Uh, I think all the boys are a bit down with a result like that, especially at home. We want to get good results at home and it hasn't been happening yet, but there's still plenty of time left in the league and yeah, we'll have a crack. It's also fair to say if the, the guys who maybe step into obviously the first 11, you know, replacing the injured guys, if they don't perform, they're finished. Once these guys are back, that's it. I think it just great adds um, that opportunity creates a lot of um, competition within the squad. I guess um, the coaches have brought in sort of two players for every position, and yeah, once once everyone's fit again, it's, it's going to be difficult for the coach to decide, and that's a that's a good problem to have. So the young guys don't enough to 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 fight for it. What do you think? The older guys are just going to walk straight back. <laughs> that's that's not for me to say. I guess. Um, but uh, no, the competition will be healthy for the squad. Is finishing the biggest problem at the moment, turning chances into goals? I think one of the problems has been um, converting our chances. We've had a lot of shots on target, or a lot of shots in general the last few games, but there's other things, all the little things that lead to goal chances or um, them having chances at our end. I think we just need a, some of the basics that we're just not getting right at the moment. Did you, did you watch Mariners at all? So yeah, I watched a bit. Yep. Can you take like half from their performance against Sydney? You know, even though you're playing, can yep. you, you see some signs that maybe Adelaide should be adapting right now? Uh, the, their, their game was very solid. They were they pressed well and um, did a lot of things right. And again, like all teams in the A League now, there's no easy games at all. They'll be hard to beat. Speaking of pressing, it seemed like. Um, uh, around that half hour mark, you sort of maybe got a little bit tired in, in your pressing game. Now, whether that was by design in terms of backing off or, or not, but that obviously allowed the opportunities to come back the other way for Newcastle. So, um, your fitness is still hanging in there? Everything you feel like you know, you're still on top of that and you were able to run it out? Yeah, no, fitness is not an issue. Our, our squad's uh, very fit. Uh, but there's days sometimes where you might feel flat and some, some things you, you can't control. So uh, for, I know for the other game, that, that was one game for me where I felt flat. Uh, probably after half time I, I died out a bit and ended up coming off.